Get your line wet at urbansportfishing.net. It's your boy Dub, and you are watching another episode of Dub's Fishing Journal. already know what it is y'all y'all done seen this this little trail quite a few times quite a few times y'all know where i'm at i'm at my home my home spot we're gonna see if we can catch us a couple crop before it get dark we're gonna catch that evening bite hopefully so i haven't been down here in a couple weeks It looks nasty. You gotta stay tuned. Let's catch a couple of fish. All right, family. I done made it down here to the water. Water look kind of low. We're having a lot of rain and stuff like that. I thought we'd have had some water get up in here, but it don't look like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on a different kind of cork put on a jig what I call a jigging cork let's see I use those cigar bobbers use those to get out pretty far I don't really have to get out as far as I was getting out on the last spot I was fishing so I'm gonna put me on a what I call a jigging cork and I'm gonna be fishing about, I'm about to say two feet deep. And I'm gonna be trying to get that jigging cork on the other side of that creek, all the way to the other side of that creek, into that wood and stuff over there. Let's see if we can get us a bite. We are gonna see shortly. You're gonna see shortly. Come on, babies. It would have been nice to be, be first cast type thing and that bob would just be like. But you know how it go. You know how it go. Sometimes I gotta work for them though. Let's get over there. Might have to put a little bit more weight on my barber just so I can make that cast. Still see shad in here. So that's a good sign. The shad is in here. Crappie will be in here too. I'm gonna put a little bit more weight on my bobber so I can get a little bit further cast. Alright folk. So just caught that guy right there. I added a pinch weight right here under my bobber. Can you guys see that? Just so I can get a little bit more distance. I'm running with a flatfish junior in like a booger green color with purple flakes just caught this little white bass though with that get him out of here you know we don't do nothing with white bass <laughs> y'all been giving me hell in the comments about that too man can a brother not eat white bass man i gotta leave y'all something i gotta leave y'all something to eat if i catch all the crappie y'all can have all the white bass you know what i'm saying somebody said that they thought crappie tasted I mean, white bass taste better than crappie too. It's like, dang, it's all about your preference, but I understand what you're saying though, man. I do get it, I do get it. It's not that I don't like them. It's not that I don't like them. It's that I don't care for them. <laughs> it's not that I don't like them. It's the, oh, got him, what's that? Another white bass. No, that might be a, a little crappie. What's that? Come here, what's that? Ew, that's a little white bass. Digging like that. Who the white bass in the creek? The white bass are in the creek. White bass. Y'all says y'all want a sand bass video. It might get it right now. Might get it right now. The sand bass are in the creek. 
and they want that flatfish. <laughs> they want the flatfish. I'm gonna catch me some crappie though. I guarantee that. I'm gonna pull up to one of these little wood piles and they're gonna be in there. Oh, bait popping right behind my bottle. Got him. Oh, I almost failed too. <laughs> that boy Dub going extra hard on these little fish. Little crappie. Little crappies. Get them out of there. I almost broke my neck for you. See you later. See you later, little friend. Get him out of here. That bait is in this creek, boy. Should be fish all in that brush. I'm gonna go to another spot. If I can't get any bigger fish out of here, I'm gonna walk down the creek a little bit more. Yeah, some wood over there. And to me, this is the funnest type of fishing to me. You know, I like getting in my kayak and I like getting on top of the fish. I like getting in my boat, but there's nothing like hitting the bank. Getting on the bank and really getting on these fish. Giving it a couple casts, and then moving around. Giving it a couple more casts, then moving around. That type, that type of game. All right, fam. Walk down a little bit further. Like I said, this spot might look a little familiar to a lot of y'all. So I'm here quite a bit, but see if they got some up in here pretty sure it's been hit pretty hard been hit pretty hard I really don't see any barbers over there though so let's see just broke off so I'm gonna go ahead and tie up on something else I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to to put on a different color. I think I'm gonna go with a chartreuse color. It's a chartreuse flatfish junior right here. UrbanSportFishing.net, your boy. <laughs> and that boy Bustle Fonte. Y'all be patient with us on these baits, man. We are the ones making these baits. So, just understand, I'm making them in my kitchen. Be patient, <laughs> my friends. All right, folks, we got our rig back up. Like I said, I'm gonna go with the chartreuse. Still same setup. Simple bobber and a jig. Now let's get something, man. Something worth talking about. If I give me a couple nice crappie out of here, I'll be cool. A couple nice crappie today, we'll call it a successful trip. Oh, I got him, whatever that is. A little bit more. That's a white bass. Oh no. It's a crappie. Yeah, no, it's a white bass. See you later. Pescado. Well, I guess you ain't gonna see you later, huh? You don't want you don't wanna show the people what you looking like? I'll see you later, homie. Get out of here. Let's get up in that little pocket right there. A little pocket right there. A chartreuse could be a really good bait for crappie or a really good bait for white bass. They love some chartreuse. I kind of feel like if I get too far away from that cover that I end up catching a white bass though. It's kind of like my odds. So I try to keep tight to the cover, even though that fish right there was literally under the cover. That might be a bite right there. That might be a bite right there. I'm not casting that accurate today though. If I was casting more accurate, man, I might be having more fish on the bank. Off a little. Ooh. 
dang, he hit that bomber quick, boy. My accuracy off a little bit, but he still dropped that bomber. Is this a white bass video today? <laughs> Is this a white bass video today? Nah. Nah. That's Mr. Black Crappie right there. That's Mr. Black Crappie. Uh, let's see what he look like, folks. It's a beautiful little specimen right there. Look at that eye. Can y'all see that eye right there? Look at his eye. Got that pretty black on it. That's awesome. We gonna let him go. We're not keeping anything today. Look like he wanna stay with us. We're not gonna keep anything today, so. Just having a good time, baby. Just having a good time. I got me another white bass or something. If not, it's a nice crappie. Yeah, it's a white bass. Oh, uh, come here. Oh, it's a crappie. Nice crappie. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Flatfish changed to a. Uh, Pearl with a light blue color. I don't know if y'all can see that in the sun. Pearl with a light blue, flatfish. Nice, nice crappie. Really, really nice crappie. Bang, bang. I'm gonna let him go today. We gonna let him go today. I'm gonna see you later, man. I'll see you next week. <laughs> I'll put you in a basket next week. Let's go get another one. Ooh, nice some white bass. Folk move down the creek a little bit. Just caught that little white bass and I caught one small crappie too, so y'all ain't really missed too much or nothing. Trying to see if I can, you know, find some bigger fish sitting over here somewhere. I'm not getting any action at the depth I'm on. I usually just go a little bit deeper. Right now, I just went probably about three more inches deeper. I'm gonna cast in a different area too, but I went a little bit deeper. See if I get more activity. Get them to come up and eat this thing or take a look at this thing. I know there's a brush pile out here where that fish just rose. I hope that's a fish. That's a big wake to be a fish. They got alligators in here. But uh, I know there's a brush pile out there. So I'm kind of just sitting my barber around that brush pile. Waiting for him to do something for me. I ain't gonna be too, I ain't gonna be out here too much longer. What do we got here? Uh, white bass. The white bass. That white bass run is starting. It is starting. And there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it, Anthony. Where are the crappies? Ooh, some big fish out there jumping. I almost feel like I'm missing out on some crappie action. Cause I'm not getting far enough out there. I'm dying in my Cuban links. I'm a dying in my Cuban links. Oh, you might 
making a little bit more noise. Yeah. You making a little bit more noise. That's a crappie. Nice crappie. I just threw back a nice little black crappie. They starting to do a little something. Let me get him back in the water. I'll see you later, little daddy. Peace. Let's get another one. Let's go get another one. Trying to make a little video, a little quick video, a little quick barber tutorial. <laughs> it's gonna be our last little stand. I said my boy Jesus done popped up. This for him for a little bit. And we'll head to the car. What's the deal, fam? Shit, same old game. Same old game. Shit, I figured I'd come out here and catch me a couple before I get up out. Before I go chill. Hell yeah. You just get off work? Yeah, I just keep cooking. Yeah. You ain't bring your crappy shit? Nah, bro. Ah, man. I got some bobbers and stuff over there. Yeah, shit, go ahead. Hey, I got jigs and bobbers over there. They really wasn't doing nothing right here. So I walked down there. Whew, there's a bunch of white bass in here right now. Well, you know, I don't want no white bass. No, no. <laughs> you know I make plastics, dog. Huh? You know I make them. That's the flatfish, bro. Yeah. That's the only shit I use. You make jigs? Yeah, hold up, man. Look at the camera. You what? What do you make? You make jigs? I make jigs. You make jig tails. heads. You make bugtails. <laughs> this show man right here, man. You, I'm gonna have to put his link, uh, Facebook link. But yeah, this the dude with the jig heads, the, the weighted corks, everything you need for your fishing arsenal. <laughs> so I'm going to put his link up in this bit. Ain't like you ain't got enough business already. Ain't like you ain't killing them already. I should. I'm saying I can't even drop off a couple of them already So How much is a pack like that? $15. 15 bucks. Let me get one. <laughs> I need one. <laughs> I need one. What size jig heads are those? Uh, I can't remember, dude. I'm going to need, uh, how many come in a pack? A hundred. A hundred for 15. Y'all heard that, folks. A hundred for 15. I'm going to leave the information. I'm going to give you the link. I'm going to have to give me some, though, for real. I've been going to Walmart, and they've been tearing me up. <laughs> yeah, it's expensive. Yep. Expensive. Just for me to go throw them in a tree, so. <laughs> yep. Ooh, get him in here, Dub. Flatfish. Flatfish. Bang. <laughs> you keep these? No? All right, cool. Oh, he is? That's your boy over there? Man, what y'all think, folks? You think I should get, get Jose and his homeboy this one right here? What'd you think, right? What'd you think, right? Yeah, I'm gonna give it to my dog, man. I've been releasing fish all day. I might as well bless his game. And for y'all who be in the comments talking about, oh, it's illegal to give away fish. It's a kiss my... I'm about to get it to my folks, man. Straight like that. Nice slab. Nice slab. Got that flatfish in his mouth. That's probably gonna be the last fish I catch on film. I see y'all next week, man. I see y'all next week. I appreciate the love. Like, comment, subscribe. All you haters, I appreciate y'all love too. And I'll see y'all next week. Bang.